either. This is Kiri Amdor. This is Nolan Peters. And we're juniors at Abraham Lincoln High School. My name is Olin Peters, and I... Had a crush on Beverly for two years, and you sent a cooler guy to ask her out. All right, listen here, bucko. This is my... Our... Poem. poem. Yeah, it's true. This poem is about, like, a fourth grade crush, so it doesn't really mean anything. Fifth grade crush. So it means everything. Dark. Dusty. Bleach smelling. Elementary, elementary school. school. I had the crush to end all crushes. One that grabbed me by the hair and whipped all reason out of me. And replaced reason with me. His best friend, but not quite yet. Picture this, me and Nolan hadn't even met yet. In fifth grade, you go through mm, too much. Puberty starts, my voice went from here to here, settled somewhere in here, and I grew hair everywhere. And I noticed girls, and one of those girls I noticed was Beverly. She was the most beautiful person my fifth grade eyes had ever seen. Her hair smelled like the sweet coconuts of the coast, and her eyes were like clusters of stars in the galaxy of my heart. Yes, her eyes smelled like the beach, and her hair sparkled like the sun. Got anything else, Casanova? Uh, yes, I have more. I could stand on this stage for countless hours and profess my undying love for this magnificent being, but yeah, for now, that's it. We should talk about how you had it so bad for this girl that you couldn't even talk to her. I don't think we should do that Nolan one. Nolan had it so bad for this girl that he couldn't even talk to her. Yep, it's pretty bad. Dorky dork fifth grade guy. I just made a custom Lego figurine of her instead. Which was actually just a pre-made one we named after her. She was a vampire. I don't think we want to get into it. Plus, despite his qualms of love and his amazing Lego figure, this man didn't talk to her for like four years and then sent an ultimately cooler guy to ask her out. Ultimately cooler guy? It's JJ. Yeah, he is ultimately cooler. 2011, back to school night, class roster. My mother, of all people, was the one to point out to me that the woman of my dreams was, ooh, she was in my class this year. Me too. I was in that class. Oh, believe me, I couldn't forget. I got put in a reading group with you instead of the lady of my heart. I remember we bonded thanks to some blue thunderbolts and a really stupid sense of humor. You wouldn't believe how funny pizza and hot dogs could be in the same sentence. Or a singular brick in the game of I Spy. Or, or <gasps> JFK. You know, nobody out here is going to understand any of these jokes, but that's totally fine. I mean, they all have jokes with their best friends, too. And we've been friends for a long time. Uh, six years is decent enough, I would think. And now that we think about it, we haven't really even talked about Beverly much in this poem. Beverly kind of sucks right now, but we're still hanging out. Maybe this poem isn't about Beverly. Maybe, Maybe it's, it's about, about JFK! JFK!